Bleeding Pool of Battle by Ruth Petal. A plum. Okay, that's the end of the book. Just okay. That's something you will have to remember at the end. The Reason for a Flower by Ruth Hello. Birds and bees and these and these sip nectar from the flowers. And as they search for more and more pollen from flower before goes with them to the next one they explore. Some pollen travels in the breeze without the help of birds or bees and very often makes you sneeze if you're allergic to pollen. I added that part into the story. From an answer on a steaming to a stigma on a style, pollen grains must travel and stay a little while and then you'll see the reason. For each flower, even with the reason for, the reason for a flower is to manufacture seeds that have a cover of one kind or another. Some go inside a juicy fruit and and no, not so very, very old to find some growing in a pod. The largest one, one is a coconut. Seeds travel far and wide. Some like to hitch a ride on upon a bake or on a zoo. Schools hide them and forget they do. Some have balls that stick to falls and travel at a gallop. Seeds can settle anywhere they find water and sun and water, sun and air and then grow roots and stems and leaves. Some seeds grow up to be trees. These grow well it's very dry and these grow well it's wet. These may not look like flowers but they're the most important yet. Rice and barley Corn and wheat are cereals we need to eat. Millet and bamboo are a lot, are a treat for animals who don't like meat. They are called herbivorous. Would you believe these plants eat meat? The first one, Venus to fly trap, and the second one, Venus to fly trap, and the third one, one is a pistol plant, one after that's a pistol plant, and they are called carnivorous, carnivorous, and one that has looks pretty with a glue, then sticks. When something touches it, it looks like pollen. And the last one, I don't know. The largest flower ever found grows in the jungle near the ground. A parasite clinging tight to roots of trees that need it. That need it. It's three feet wide or maybe four, weighs 15 pounds and sometimes more. It has and 
has a nasty odor. Aphlesia is its name. But here's a flower that that owns its fame to smelling very sweet. And scientists agree that magnolia seems to be a prehistoric family. All flowers are angiosperm. That's an ancient Greek term. Ancient Greek term. Here are just a few things made from them for you. Paper, wood, straw, candy, coffee, tea, popcorn, socks, pasta, cotton, perfume, rope, bread, rubble, coke, medicine. Even plants that have no flowers are fascinating too. This one has become you will have to remember what I said at the beginning. Send me a message of what it was of what it was. So now